Hey, I thought I'd do a Battle Circuit credit today. I've been playing this game a lot when I'm uh, either watching a stream or out on the bus or whatever. <laughs> Away from the computer. I think my best was like six credits, but I actually had the extends on uh, something that wasn't default, so it actually isn't here because I didn't I didn't back out of the game and save. The final boss is awful. I, I can't stand the the final final like end game boss in this. It's just boring. Waiting for it to attack and it has tons of armor. It's uh, just a real exercise in frustration to fight. <laughs> so I just I just don't do that part now. I, I'm not really uh. A hardcore one CC or anything. A lot of my one CCs are like just fighting games and you know stuff like Time Crisis, which is probably a little bit harder than this, considering it takes a little bit more physical dexterity to play. But <laughs> I just like playing this for fun. I'm gonna try to get through the first two levels here on one credit. The most annoying thing about this game is the bosses pretty much just require you to wait until you have a chance to attack them. You can't really be aggressive in this game. The only way you can really be aggressive is with a trick that I'll show off. I kind of stole off replay burners. Basically, when you do your super joy in this, when you do it like this, you actually get invincibility after, and you can kind of use that to mount an offense. And it doesn't take any health as long as you don't actually make contact with something. I gotta fight Elvis. Elvis is a pretty good example of uh, my complaints with the bosses in this game. Man, the damn robot. <laughs> oh well. Got there on one credit. I think the farthest I've gotten is like pretty much through the third level on one credit. This game has a lot of cool systems. It, it's just like it's not really a widely known game because it came out pretty much around the time when arcades were declining and 
I don't think I ever saw a cabinet of this. I frequented many, many arcades in my younger years, and I have never seen this out in the wild. <laughs> Around this time, you know, you had, like, the the Marvel series and stuff were out, and a lot of the arcade distributors or owners were far more likely to spend money on that because it was on the same hardware, and it probably makes way more money than this does. I mean, this is actually it, it's kind of like a, uh, a pretty, like, lax like beat them up because it has you know there's the upgrade system you can actually increase your health bar you can even buy extends as well you, you can't get extends yeah go ahead get in a save here I'll show you the default settings Just to confirm this is default, basically you can't get any extends in this game normally at all. I guess it's because you can you can run a credit pretty long on this with minimal skill. I, that was definitely not a very good run. Like, I've done a lot better than that, but I don't know. I just haven't really played at all today. I didn't practice or anything. But basically, there's no rank like uh, option in the game from what I've seen. And you don't get any extends. So I initially had it set on this, and this allowed me to finish the game on 6 credits. It probably would have been more like 8 or 9 otherwise, but thankfully, you can skip the final boss. The final boss, the master program, is just awful. <laughs> he does... It feels more like an MMO boss of anything. He kind of has like a damage phase type thing where he'll come down and he actually staggers, but the rest of the time he's in permanent hyper armor. It's no fun to fight, but luckily they make it optional. You fight the other guy and then you get the chance to just remove the Shiva disc from the system or whatever, and that just ends the game. So it seems like most of the people who do, like once you see attempts, they actually include the master program because it's, you know, it's pretty much all the game content. There are no other deviations in the path at all beside that, but I just don't like fighting that boss. It's boring, it's drawn out, and it definitely uh, amplifies. It's a good example of like how like, frustrating the bosses can be to fight if you like to play quickly. So, I think I'll uh, play a little bit as the other character. I have nowhere near as much practice with this character. I've really only played as these two. I will say that the D-pad uh, left Joy-Con on the Switch definitely makes games like this <laughs> a lot more <laughs> enjoyable to play. I still don't understand the juggle system either, I'm kind of getting used to that. Her Super Joy has, seems to have less range than the other characters, so it's actually a lot easier to kind of get those free iframes with her. Now, some beat em ups are like fun to, to play for like a single credit, like one CC, like uh, fight and rage, and then there's other ones that are just like, you know, how much do you hate yourself? <laughs> I don't know where this game really, uh, really falls there. I think it could be either way, honestly. See, that's the hitbox on her is pretty, uh, pretty strict.
I can't super draw anymore. I messed up the routing. I know you're supposed to get the uh, the whip brush first with her, and then use that to farm coins and get the rest of her move set. That was not bad though. Rider kick into the regular dash seems to work pretty well with her. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and back out there. I just thought I'd show some Battle Circuit gameplay. The game uh, actually did just come out on PC. Uh, Green Man Gaming has it for $16, and I have some extra money, so. I might go ahead and get it on there. I know a lot of the uh, the arcade guys, you know, the guys that like play beat 'em ups on Twitch and stuff. They all have that version, so maybe we'll try to get some games going or something like that. But I like this version because you can play it on the go, and obviously it's not really taxing the switch or anything. I did hear that the uh, like the three player and four player like bug or whatever is still in the game on the PC version, but. I don't really think anybody's going to be playing this seriously with more than two players, so <laughs> I'm not sure how much it matters at this point. I'll, I'll see about getting it. I, I need to figure out if I'm going to be buying anything else gaming or channel-wise for this month. Uh, I'll see about getting a review out for that as well. Anyway, I'm sorry the gameplay was not too good today. I'll probably do another attempt with Cyber Blue later this week. Peace.